Well, hi, everybody. It's that gratitude guy, David George Rook, with another special guest on the Gratitude Podcast interview regarding the pandemic. And today I'm with my good friend, Carolyn Farrell. I've known a number of years and uh, hails from north of Mill Creek, Washington, a good friend of mine. Carolyn, welcome to the Gratitude Podcast interview. Well, hi, David. Hi, Carolyn. I think she was surprised. So I've got four questions for you today, totally spontaneous. What is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? Humor. It's got to be humor. You've got to be able to laugh at it. That's true. And now you're, you're somebody who does come with a lot of humor. I never quite know what kind of text I'm going to get from you. So it's always that true. Makes it, that makes it's it a little good. dangerous. So, so, we got, so we're in an uncertain time. So what would you say? Maybe it's changed. Maybe it's the same. What, do you, what would you say you're most grateful for? Well, um, probably going into this, I would have said I'm most grateful for um, sunshine and beach and, you know, uh, weather. Um, I'm very grateful when it's all happy and sunny outside. But now... Um, I'm really grateful for the times that I have spent with my family going into it, um, mm. because it'll sustain me through to when I get to be with them again and play with my grandkids and hug my kids. And I haven't had a hug in a really long time. And no. I, you know me, I'm a hugger. And so yeah, that's, that's really true. Sucks. That's true. That's a good point. So you're so hugs. Pretty, hugs yeah. is a really good thing. Yeah. I'm for. Gosh, it's, it's sad because they're not. You're, not, you're right. There's not many of those anymore. Um, so if you think about how about any, you're pretty creative. How about any tips or thoughts or ideas or, or things to do while people are going through this when they're kind of locked up in their homes? Um, I actually used this this morning and, uh, you know, I, I may have heard it from somebody somewhere, but they were talking about, you know, exercise and, uh, getting up and taking a shower every day and, you know, getting up and preparing for work and, and don't just stay in your morning PJs for five days. Um, and I added something to the end of that. And I said, you know, if we every day wrote down something that we were grateful for, um, even if it was just a list of the just brief list. And then at the end of this experience, when we looked back at that list, those are going to be the things that really are important it's mm. not going to be the things that we thought were important going into it we can look back and go wow i don't want to lose sight of these things these things were the most important when i couldn't have anything else when i couldn't have for my whatever yeah. um that these things my hugs you know yeah personal contact with people friends relationships that are that are truly real and toilet paper toilet paper you'd be very okay. grateful for who would have thought it? Now, that's really good. And I think I heard that same thing too about uh, making it like a regular business day, get up, take a shower, shave, you know, the whole thing, get ready, put your shoes on. There's one day I didn't even put my shoes on, just walk around the carpet. And I think that really makes sense. And I think anything that, uh, I think another silver lining, it's hard to believe a silver lining is something that's so negative, but I think it's going to help people realign mm -hmm. their priorities. I think something that wasn't as important yeah. before is going to become a lot more important now. So so last question is, do you have, and again, whether it's during this time or just in general, a quote or a philosophy or something that kind of sustains you through tough times like this that you've always adhered to? Yep. Stephen Covey, begin with the end in mind. And that's exactly who the author is. That's very good. Very yes. good. Very, very safe. One of my favorites. Yeah, that's that's a great that's a great point too. And as we know, we don't know where the end of this is going to be, but we can picture it and how we come out of it and come out better and stronger and all that type of thing too. So, excellent. Well, those are just excellent. Yeah. And of course, the humor, of course, is my favorite. When I look at you, I can't help but smile. So, anyway, so well, listen. Thank you so much for being on the Gratitude Podcast interview. I knew you'd have some sage yeah. tips for all of us. Yeah, I, I love this surprise element. That was great. <laughs> thank you, dear.